Make your way down under with Outback, a medium-sized map that is highly destructible. Let's take a look at the map's blueprint. We can see the first floor and the second floor. The first floor is separated into three areas, the restaurant, the motel, and the garage. Each area has a predominant color to help you get situated. Let's dive into the green-colored restaurant area first. We'll start in the restaurant lobby, which is accessible from the outside through two sets of double doors. Now we'll move into the restaurant, which is the most important room in this area of the map. It includes the restaurant stairs, which lead to the mezzanine on the second floor. Stay on your guard here. Defenders might be positioned behind the counter. We move into the kitchen, which has many destructible walls and a hatch. You'll want to note that though it may look safe, the kitchen can be a tricky room to defend. Okay, let's move into the kitchen hallway and then head into the yellow-colored motel area. Starting in the kitchen hallway, we move on into the reptile hallway. We can see the piano stairs here, which lead to the piano room on the second floor. Through this wall is the nature room, an important location as it contains several objective sites. We can see the reptile hallway from here, and behind this breachable wall is the closet. Now let's head into the bathroom, whose window leads outside and through the bathroom hallway up to the Bushranger room, which is the biggest room in this area with several destructible walls. Through this wall, we rotate to the back entrance. That's near the back stairs, which lead to the dorms and the laundry on the second floor. Moving back into the reptile hallway, we head down to the motel reception. The kitchen is accessible through this destructible wall, while this door provides access to the outside. All right, time to head into the garage area. As you can see, the dominant color in the garage area is blue. Not far from the motel reception, we can find the garage, but we'll get back to that later. First, let's head into the compressor room, a highly destructible room with access to the kitchen through this wall. Now let's go to the gear store. To our left is the restaurant, which we visited earlier. Moving on, we get to the convenience store, the beer fridge with a destructible wall leading to the garage, the waiting room, which can be accessed from the fuel pump spawn point, which we'll see later, and we finally arrive in the garage, which is the biggest room in all of Outback, with a view on the mezzanine and a destructible wall that leads outside. Now let's take the garage stairs and check out the second floor. Looking at the map, we can see the same three areas that we saw on the first floor. Let's start in the garage area. We move up the garage stairs and take a small tour of the garage lounge. Outside this window is the convenience store roof. Back inside, we head north towards the office. Note the destructible wall and floors. You'll want to be careful where you step if an enemy is positioned below. The office is one of the most important rooms on the map because it hosts an objective in every single game mode. Moving through the office supplies room to finally get a look at the electrical room. Okay, let's go back to the office before heading to the restaurant area. From the office, we can access the party room. This is a highly destructible room with two walls and a floor that are destructible. Now we'll move into the mezzanine, which offers a great line of sight into the restaurant and which serves as an entry point to the terrace that you can see towards the north on the map. Moving on, this is the mechanical ballroom. It's a central junction on the second floor, but you'll want to be careful because you can be taken out from multiple angles here. From this room, we can access the motel balcony, which surrounds the whole west side of the building. We come back into the mechanical ballroom. Okay, to finish up the tour, let's see the motel area. First is the games room. Note that each of these three walls is destructible. Now we rotate into the showers. The window over there leads to the motel balcony outside. Continuing on towards the west, we reach the dorms. This is a key entry point since you can access the dorms from the motel balcony. And now onto the back stairs, which lead to the back entrance and the bush ranger room, both of which are on the first floor. As we move through the motel hallway, we come to the laundry, a highly destructible room that can hold important objective sites. 
And finally, we breach into the piano room where we find the piano stairs, which lead down to the reptile hallway on the first floor. From here in the piano room, you can access the games room through this wall, or go out onto the terrace through this door. Outback has three spawn points. Located to the south is the fuel pump's entrance. To the west, you'll find the camping spawn point. Finally, the storage yard entrance, which is located to the north. To summarize, Outback is a highly destructible map. It's an ideal map for roamers, with its four staircases and many lines of sight creation possibilities. It features two mezzanines, as well as three main areas, which are color-coded to help you orient yourself while in battle. Get ready, sunshine. This fight's gonna be a hot one.